Hello everybody! It is the start of a weekend, which isn't really weekends for us anymore because we work on the weekends now, but it is still exciting because that's our sourcing time and that's the start of the Pittsburgh Picker long weekend of sales. Never took a lap. All right, so today, item number sold. It's our best day ever. Um, Money-wise, it's I don't think it quite is there. Uh, it's yeah, it's about a hundred dollars shy of the total money. But we sold forty-one things today. Forty-one. That's going to mean that I'm going to be in this room after this video is um, shot, packing for the foreseeable future. I might have more gray hair here by the time I'm done with this, but. Um, you're not going to see all 41 items because a lot of them are Sarah's nails. These uh, nail strips that she sells, Color Street nail strips. Um, I know about as much about these as I do about women's clothes. So what I know is just from watching Sarah, they are kind of like uh, uh, nail polish, but they're in a strip form. And you just put them on your nails, trim them off, and you've got nails. Or color on your nail. I don't know. I don't use them. So, um, and then they actually come off with, um, real, with a nail polish remover, like any other nail polish. So people love them. Um, when they go on sale in our store, people go insane because we're selling them for, um, about a dollar, dollar and a half profit. Now there's stuff that Sarah gets on the back end that helps us out that we can still be able to do that. But yeah, that's the majority of, there's a lot of these in here. In fact, there's a massive stack right over here, right, right waiting to go out. So that's why you're not going to see all of them. Um, and I did want to kind of explain these things to you guys, because I know I just kind of dropped it really subtly one day and then told you there's a link down in the description below, which there is. Um, and you can buy them direct from her if you'd like. Um, but uh, that's what the, the, we had one person buy like 10 pairs of them or 10 sets, I guess we'll call them, because they're not in pairs, they're five, I guess. I'm imagining there's 10, actually, because you got to do both hands. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff. I'm, I'm a guy. I, I, don't, I don't do anything with my fingernails except cut them and sometimes clean underneath them. And that's, that's about it. So. First on the list is this. That hair. Whoo! She needs a brushing. Um, this is a antique 20 inch composition and cloth baby doll from the 1930s. It's supposedly Shirley Temple. I don't remember what the Shirley Temple looked like, but I don't think she had a wonky eye, but whatever. Um, oh, I just realized I'm holding her so her dress is up, so that's inappropriate. Um, this sold for $30 plus shipping. This doll is going to Russia. Insane. Um, the vast majority of these dolls, believe it or not, are actually going out of the country. Um, and I don't know why. Next up, another Dog Watch 4 purchase. That's Sean. Um, he was on the live listing or live chat with us. Sean, thank you for all that you do. And I can't find it right now because I don't know. I don't know where they are. I'll be right back. Don't worry, Sean. I found them. These are boots. Um, Esso Monique women's boots, size nine. These were actually Sarah's and she didn't care for them. So she decided to sell them on eBay. She's a big boot girl. She's got like 50,000 boots. In fact, I don't actually have closet space in our bedroom because of boots. So um, I'm glad these are leaving. Thank you, Sean, for buying these. Appreciate it. Uh, $14.50 plus ship. Sold another doll. This one, a little weird. These just look like old people to me. Can't. So I guess this is one of those heads, those blank heads that we sold, um, painted. It says by Tilly on the back. Somebody wrote by Tilly. 
on the back. So I imagine that's the person who uh, doll collection we bought. Anyways, uh, this is a antique reproduction 2.5 uh, inch German Prairian bisque doll. I don't know, but I don't understand why they call these bisque dolls. Every time I heard the word bisque, it's involved soup. Maybe that's just because I'm chubby and I think of you know food anytime there's a word that sounds kind of foody. Um, but yeah, bisque china head doll, twenty-two dollars and fifty cents for. Uh, old lady doll here plus shipping uh, I'm just gonna put this up here because it's actually still in a box this sold again um, this was the strangest sale or lack of a sale that I've ever had in my entire life I'll give you a quick story and I know um, it's so <laughs> somebody bought this P touch label maker um, and then immediately opened a, a challenge with eBay well with PayPal and then PayPal challenged eBay that they didn't recognize the charge on their card. So we had it in our outgoing mail on July 3rd. And was it? Yeah, July 3rd. And when that came through, we pulled it out of our outgoing mail thinking, well, maybe, you know, a kid bought it or something without the parent knowing, whatever. Not a big deal. Then two days went by and not, not even. Well, yeah, two days, because Monday the 5th, we got a change in reason of that challenge. That it no longer, they were no longer challenging the charge. They were challenging why it hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> Three days later, um, or two days later, and one of them two, one of them was a holiday and one of them was a holiday observance. So, open the challenge on the 3rd. The fourth was a Sunday and a holiday. And then the 5th was an observed holiday. And then they, they challenged it on the 5th. Why hasn't it arrived? Well, two reasons. One, there was no mail. And two, there was a holiday. And three, you didn't recognize the charge from before. I don't understand it. Anyways, it's still in the box out there. We're just going to put a new label over top of it. Um, that's why this picture has to suffice. It's a P-Touch Brother P1280. Sold for $14.80. Again, plus shipping. Sold that Fisher-Price Little People thing that you saw us buy at the bins right here. Um, this button works. Okay. Take turns, everybody. I uh, hope I don't get a copyright strike for that. $20 free shipping on this. Next up is this. This is an Isinox Andrew LX. Anu LX. Don't know what this is. It's an Avon product of some sort. Um, looks like something that you'd put on your face to like firm it up or whatever. Rejuvenating day cream, rejuvenating serum. That's what's in here. Guess it's very rejuvenating. Anyways, um, this sold uh, for thirty dollars and eighty cents. Free shipping. Sold some shorts. These are um, Hollister shorts. They are like like somebody cut sweatpants. Hollister shorts. Um, pretty cool they're super soft like those american eagle ones too um they're really com they feel really comfortable um men's size medium these sold for 15 dollars plus shipping i think this is our last one of these this is a a dress shirt from uh kmart kmart price tag is still on it seven bucks it sold for um 1980s kmart shirt 1776 is the brand right here still in the package this came from the epic estate sale part two we are still selling things from that estate sale uh went down in value six dollars plus shipping we sold a uh, buyer bought um a lot of our wax packs from um uh that we had baseball cards this is a uh, 1989 tops uh wax packs there are four five of those in here and then we uh sold them also 28 of the donruss this is a uh, donruss uh what year is this donruss doesn't say on the box. Uh, this is. You would think they'd make this pretty accessible. Uh, 1988 Donruss. This is a. Uh, the box had 36. There are 28 of them in here. Um, this sold for $13 plus shipping, and then this sold for $8 plus shipping. Um, we're obviously going to be combining shipping on that. Uh, next up, this is a vintage 1940 Carnival Prize Curly Sailor Girl. 
the face. Whew. Lay off the makeup. Um, $17 for her, plus shipping. Sold another magic wallet. This is a J. Crew magic wallet. Um, you guys have seen these before. We've sold quite a few of them. They um, fold and then <gasps> it's magic. Um, new with the tags, J. Crew wallet, $10.50 plus shipping. Sold a bowl. This bowl. Um, this is a uh, ovenware. Uh, what do we call it? Cal hammer? Cal hammer. Cal Kia. What? Cala hammer? That's my guess. Cala hammered um, mixing bowl. Um, oven pottery ware, $16 for the bowl, plus shipping. Still hacking through those books. Well, I'm surprised this one hung in there. This seems to be a very, uh, this is normally a pretty popular book. This is with Swiss Family Robinson. Hey, it's a book I can pronounce the name. $10 for Swiss Family Robinson, plus shipping. More lip balm. This Avon lip balm is some popular stuff. It must be good. Avon Moisture Therapy Intensive Healing uh, lip balm. Ten of them. Ten bucks. Free shipping. Then we sold this little girl back here. This is a 1980s Cabbage Patch doll. Uh, red hair, blue eyes, closed mouth. And here. She sold for $21.50 plus shipping. Sold an L.L. Bean insulated jeans. Right? We bought these right when the weather was starting to get warm, knowing full well they'd sit. And um, I actually thought they'd sit till winter. These are L.L. Bean fleece lined jeans. If you guys see these, um, especially in the wintertime, pick them up. They're, they've got fleece lining in them. They're super warm. Um, I have a couple pairs of them when I uh, do snow removal. And they're, they're worth it. $15 for these plus shipping. You get a little bit more in the wintertime. Sold this uh, Lou LaRoe pink orchid, orchid and lipstick makeup fashion artist leggings. Uh, $10 free shipping for these. Found these at the bins. Sold some activewear. We still have some. These are uh, Nike Pro Combat uh, tights. Right here, new with the tags. Here's a tag. Men's size medium, $13.50 for these. Plus shipping. Somebody mentioned this on uh, the live stream a while back, or a uh, while well, back last Thursday, um, that the, she was running or he was running a sale, um, and they still wanted more. And that is true. We the, today we did get a lot of offers, and we had to we had to stonewall a few people that just were being ridiculous. <laughs> they were we we're asking thirteen, and you're six dollars, and like. You know, there's a, there's a few people that I was like, I just, I can't go any lower. We, we're already marked down 20%. That's that's it. Next up, we got some, um, again, from the Epic Estate Sale Part 2. There's actually two of these. Um, these are Never Need Ironing Curtains. These people iron their curtains? I didn't know this. I guess that, that makes a little more sense to me than sheets. Because if you iron these, you want them to be wrinkle-free, you know, s sitting up on your uh, window. So that, that, I guess, makes a little sense. Uh, two pairs of them, $8 plus shipping. They are old from the Epic Estate Sale. Again, part two. Sold some Puma shorts. Um, they are... Are these them? So, yeah, they are. <laughs> I was looking for something with like a stretchy waistband. These are Puma Men's Sports Lifestyle Shorts. Flat front cotton poly shorts. Hmm. Right here. They are like, they look like golf shorts to me. Um, Puma Shorts, $16 for these. No tag either, plus shipping. Pretty good turnaround on those. This was another offer. We were I felt like we were pretty cheap on this to begin with, and they were really harping on us to... Um, we finally settled on a price, but uh, um, Aeropostale classic, cla <laughs> classic length flat front yellow chino shorts. Uh, men's size 32, new with the tags. There's a tag right there. Um, and there's another tag here. Nine bucks plus shipping. We were asking um, 16, 20% marked it down to 14.40. They offered uh, six at first, counter offered with um, 11 or. 12, then they counter offer with nine and just took it. Uh, sometimes you just got to move things, and summer's going to be coming to an end, and I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of shorts. So, um, and we do have a fair amount of them. Next up, more Avon lip balm. This is the second most popular one. This is that Dew Kiss um, Avon lip balm. Ten of those, ten bucks, 
free shipping. Got, still got those magazines. Field, Vintage Field and Stream. This is a, a tackle preview from 196 or tackle preview for 1961. This is December 1960. That's a pretty cool cover. Very, very, you know, early Americana cover. Really cool. 35 cents for that magazine originally. We sold it for $7.38 plus shipping. Sold a mason jar. One of those old mason jars, mason jars with a patent from November 30th, 19, or 1858. Um, these are really cool, and these have been a good seller for us. We found a whole bunch of these at an estate sale, and they were a buck a piece. $22, free shipping. Sold a John Ashford shirt we found at the bins, new with the tag. Um, this is a John Ashford shirt, men's size large. Um, not a lot of money in this. these guys, believe it or not. Um, I'm not even sure. I never, don't even know the brand, to be honest with you. Five bucks plus shipping for the shirt. Sold another Franklin Library book. These are mixed in with the um, um, Heritage books when we got them. And they're they're pretty popular. If you guys see these Franklin Library books, um, they do sell for decent money. This is Tom Brown's School Days. I guess Tom had some days at school. I really wish my camera would focus. There we go. Tom Brown's School Days by Thomas Hughes. Hugh, Hugh, I don't know. Uh, Six dollars and forty cents. Yeah, shipping. Sold uh, some infant clothes. These are uh, vintage infant baby knit dinosaur onesie. Oh, we found this at the bin. Sarah found it. It's, it's adorable. Look at that dinosaur. Um, size three to six months acrylic sweater. Six bucks. Free shipping. I'm not going to make a lot of money on that one. Um. That's it for today. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Sunday, July 11th. Um, did pretty decent today. Uh, it is a little earlier than normal. We're going to a birthday party tonight, so I am filming a little earlier than I normally do on Sundays. Um, so starting off with this, these are shoes, and these are Puma shoes. They're pretty awesome, um, especially if you're a Miami Dolphins fan. These would be a great shoe to have um these shoes uh, we got these a while back and there was like 2,000 some odd views on these things and um a bunch of watchers maybe like 20 watchers or something insane um we sent out so many offers on these shoes and nobody buying them so we pulled it down um and relisted it and they finally sold 40 dollars free shipping for the shoes they are pretty much brand new they um they still have some tags in them, but they're kind of faded, so I'm assuming they're somewhat new. Uh, I don't th believe we... Oh, yeah, we did list them as new with tags. Uh, $11 plus... Or, I'm sorry, $40 plus shipping. Oh, it's men's size 11. Sold a laser disc. This is the Bette Midler show. Wasn't even aware she had a show, but I guess she did. Um, yeah. Laser disc, the Bette Midler show. Sold for $9.60 plus shipping. Sold a giant lot of post-it note stuff. Um, there's labels, post-it notes, um, study tabs, so forth. Um, for all this, it, uh, seventeen dollars plus shipping. We got all this at uh, Sarah got all this at uh, Red, White, and Blue thrift store. Next up, this is a I believe this is a viewer sale. Uh, Anne, thank you so much for buying this um this is a uh, uh we got a couple beach boy cassettes this is the beach boys surfs up and then behind it is the beach boys still cruising and then we got merry christmas from the beach boys right here there we go and uh in the buyer's note said good day sir which a lot of people have been doing that lately whenever they're viewers, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, and we're going to throw in some Pittsburgh Picker stickers for you to thank you for your purchase. There's one right here. Yeah, and they sold for uh, all together $8.80 plus shipping. Sold some more, I think this, I oh know we have one more over here. Uh, I think these are our last blue ones though. Some glass insulators. These would have gone on uh, like a phone line pole or maybe a power line sold two of them right here it's the second one uh, nineteen dollars and twenty cents free shipping on those sold a lock and love blue and gray white short sleeve striped shirt new with the tags I believe we got this at the bins 
right here. Um, this is a women's size extra large, sold for seven dollars. Free shipping. Sold this. This was a bins find as well. Uh, well, ma'am. Um, this is a mossy oak mountain country size small slash medium cowboy style hat. Um, so it's just your run of the mill kind of camo hat, I guess. Um, this sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. Sold some uh, a card table linen tablecloth uh, with uh, napkins right here. Just your tablecloth, vintage tablecloth. Here, um, this sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Sold two tank tops. One is uh, this one here, and then uh, we have a striped orange one. Both uh, uh, Aeropostal. Um, tank tops, uh, both together $12.55 plus shipping. Sold a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Um, this one sold for a little less than most of them because it does have a little stain on it. Uh, but it is the big pony polo shirt. Um, this is uh, red, white, and blue, men's size large. Sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold a Matchbooks, uh, Matchbox Super Rig. It's a Pepsi truck. And here we got this, uh, from a friend of ours in that mystery box. Um, $8 plus shipping for that. Next up is this. Uh, this is a William Sonoma olive wood recipe box. Uh, right here. It just opens up like so, and you can keep your recipes in it or anything else you might need to. Uh, $22 for that, plus shipping. So it's some more of those salad spoons right here. Uh, the salad spoon and the spork-like thing. Um, these are uh, William Sonoma as well. They are hammered copper. Uh, $12.50 plus shipping. That's our last of those, unfortunately. Um, sold another one of these, The Amazing Spider-Man. You guys have seen uh, quite a bit of these by now. $15.60 plus shipping. Sold our last one of these, too. Um, these are Megaforce. Um, this is the rocket launchers. I think we sold another one of these at one point. Um, these are die cast metal to old vintage toys. So I got the Toys R Us price tag on it. $1.48 um, from Toys R Us. Originally $2.99 because there's another price tag right there. So it was marked down $2.48 and uh, went up quite a bit in value. This sold for $13 plus shipping. Sold another one of these tiny little uh, Porcelain Japan, Japanese, well, made in Japan dolls. Um, this is never going to focus, but there. Oh, yeah, it did. Look at that. Um, $15 for that little guy or girl, plus shipping. Sold some records um, as well. This is average white band. Um, it's a little pushing it, but I think we're all right. Average white band. Um, this is. Um, Atlanta Records pressing of this record, three dollars plus shipping. Sold some uh, tan linen throw pillow cover. Uh, is this just it's just one pillow cover from Pottery Barn right here. Um, Nineteen dollars and twenty cents for this. Still has a tag on it. Plus shipping. Another record. Thought didn't know for sure if this would ever sell. That's a more by the Gaylords. That's quite the cover right there <laughs> on a moped holding a baguette and, and a bottle of wine they, you know what they say about mopeds it's lots of fun until somebody sees you right there uh, three dollars for that as well plus shipping sold a hipster cat t-shirt size extra large Let me get this open here there we go it's a hipster cat right there um, Sold for $7, free shipping on that. Next up is this, Stranger Things Netflix Never Forgets uh, t-shirt. So it's a Stranger Things t-shirt, just kind of 80s looking shirt. Uh, we found this at the bins, $8.50 plus shipping on this. And last for today, we got these little uh, things. They are little ballerinas. There you go. They're porcelain. Um, We've had it. We've sent a lot of offers on these as well. Um, we got a lot of lowball offers on them, but finally somebody came close. We were asking twenty-five. 
uh, let them go for $22 plus shipping. Hello everybody, welcome. Today is the final day of our count, or countdown, or <laughs> what am I, Ryan Seacrest? Um, today is the final day of our long weekend of sales. Today is Monday, July 12th, and uh, today was alright. Wasn't uh, record breaking, but wasn't bad either. So, first thing on the block is this. Um, this is a little Tweety Bird figurine right here. Um, not a big money maker here. Three dollars and forty cents plus shipping. Next up, some more of these vintage spring made sheets. Let me just flew these right out of here. I think this is our last one. Oh no, we got one more. Uh, Fifteen dollars for these plus shipping. Sold uh, another Spider Man book. I'm not gonna keep boring you with these because we keep selling them. Uh, Spider Man Volume One. Uh, Fifteen dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. Uh, Christmas ornament. This is a uh, Chris Cross Country Kringle. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it's a Hallmark keepsake, never been opened. Um, Five dollars and forty-three cents plus shipping. Sold some red pants. They're back here. Um, these are American Eagle Outfitters uh, red pants. <laughs> They're just American Eagle red pants. Uh, not new with the tags, but again, um, the ones we get from a friend of ours, they, they've never been worn. Size 33, 32. Sold for $16 plus shipping. Sold some shorts. These are J. Crew men's shorts. Um, size 34, new with the tags. They're kind of like your run-of-the-mill golf shorts from J. Crew. Uh, we've sold a fair amount of these. We got a bunch of them uh, and sold most of them. $13 plus shipping. Still getting through those heritage books. This is the Scarlet Letter. I've actually read that book uh, in high school. <laughs> I was forced to. Six dollars plus shipping. The uh, cover on this one had some issues, as you can see. So not the biggest money maker there, but six dollars. We'll take it. Next up, it's finally happened. Um, a while back, we bought this. This looks like a Cabbage Patch doll, and it is. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it is. It's a Little People doll. It's a Little People um, soft sculpture by Xavier Roberts. Xavier Roberts is the person who started the Cabbage Patch doll. So these were some of the first Cabbage Patches ever made. This one is soft, actually. The whole head is soft, um, and it is a little bigger than your average Cabbage Patch. Um, this one... Um, these, the sole comps on these are good, but they're all over the place. And I think it all depends on the quality of the make, um, the style and so forth. Um, this one had a few issues. You can see there was a, there's some staining right there. And there's also some staining on the legs. Um, we paid 10 bucks for this thing. We got this with a few other dolls and, um, they're all, the, the sole comps go as high as like 150 um, all the way down to like 40 bucks. So we listed ours real high at first and it's stu it stuck around. We actually pulled it down and relisted it. Um, and it sold $50. Sorry, $50 plus shipping. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. They are worth the money. They just don't sell as fast as Cabbage Patch dolls. Sold a, uh, another one of these philosophy shampoos, um, smaller bottle of that. These sell really well for us. Um, $8.99 plus shipping. And I'm not sure if a viewer bought that or not. If you are a viewer, um, went out to Martha, and she did say something about meeting us to pick this up. Unfortunately, if you don't select, and I don't think we even offer local pickups, so um, eBay does force us to mail it. But Martha, if you are a viewer, uh, reach out and let us know that uh, it was you, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll thank you properly. Um... Next up, these Pottery Barn pillowcases here. There's four of these. They are just kind of like your, um, what are we calling them? Red linen throw pillow covers. 20 by 20 is the size on them. Um, there's four of them. There's three. There's four. They are brand new. Um, $45 for these. Pottery Barn stuff sells really well and for good money. Uh, plus shipping. Sold another one of those um, antique porcelain bis dolls from Japan right here. Um, 
This one sold for $16 plus shipping. Sold a Vera ba Bradley bag that Sarah's mom gave us right here. Um, just a Vera Bradley bag. These were worth a really good amount of money back in, you know, a couple years ago. And then the market's kind of <whistles> tailed off on them. Um, $15 for this plus shipping. By the way, thanks, Mom. We really appreciate it. Sold a tank top. This is an Aeropostal Brooklyn Calling tank top. New with the tags. Uh, $12 for this. Plus shipping. Sold a buy lens. Cool. And I almost broke it. Sold a, this is the buy lens 35. Um, it's kind of like a slide view. It is a slide viewer. I am, I'm sorry. Um, it's not like your, what were those called? Where you had the circular thing. It's not like that at all. There's actually a slot right here. You can throw a slide in it. And uh, there's a battery compartment uh, for a light and so forth and you just you can look at your slides individually um, pretty cool we got this at the funeral home uh, sale twenty dollars free shipping for this Sean you struck again on me Sean bought some more stuff off of us you're just way too generous and thank you so much we really really appreciate it Sean bought is the first one to break the ice on these these are the uh, NFL pro line cards um, there is a set of 18 unopened packs in here. Uh, plus, you get this uh, NFL Pro set from uh, Super Bowl. One of the Super Bowls here. That Super Bowl. Uh, it's 10, 15, I guess that would be. Yeah. And some bubble gum. I'm sure it's lovely. Let me know if you uh, try any of the bubble gum. I'm sure it'll be great. It's from 1991. Um, $14.20 plus shipping for all those. Sold a small vintage handmade uh, baby quilt right here. Pretty cool. Um, size 43 by 43, $12 plus shipping for that. And last for the day, we got a record. This is a sounds that will make you shiver. Ah, so scary. Um, 10 bucks for this. Halloween records do pretty well, especially around October. I'm surprised to say she sold when it did. Ten bucks plus shipping. And that's it, guys, for the long weekend of sales. We are getting dangerously close to a thousand subscribers. So for those of you that haven't yet, I'd really appreciate it if you could click that subscribe button for me, uh, getting us to that thousand subscriber mark. We, we are going to do a pretty cool giveaway. Um, and that's about it. If you like this video, give that video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir!